Hey guys, this is Ek Jun Wen. One UI 5 beta was released a month ago in Korea, and today in Germany. More countries will receive it later on. For this update, it has a long change log, and some of them are interesting. So, more battery life information, and it will notify if the battery needs to be replaced. RAM Plus, you can finally turn it off if you want to. OCR, aka Optical Character Recognition, which you probably know from Bixby Vision, but now you can do it with a single tap in Samsung Gallery. Ability to select which language will be used for each app, new dashboards for security status, and shows recommendations to fix them. New emergency system by pressing side button 5 times quickly. Notification design has been approved, which we will see that later on. The color palette you can now choose from a total of 16 color themes and general color themes, based on the wallpaper. Sack multiple widgets such as weather, music, and clock into one and swipe left and right to check them. You can set each contact with different cold backgrounds instead of one for all. When you launch an app for the first time, you can decide whether to receive notification or not so you can only receive notification from apps you allow. Easily block annoying app notifications at the top of the notification settings. 80 new emojis, help icon to give you tips related to various lenses, options, and controls in camera pro and video pro mode. Enhanced one-handed zooming, new feature that displays picture date, time, model number, and specified info that you select to be displayed on the photo as watermark. Also, telephoto lens support and food mode. Well, that's all the 17 new features and enhancements from the change lock. Can't wait to install it on my device once it is released officially. And if you are interested, I'd be glad to make a video on how to install it safely. And if you didn't check out my recent video about Oculus updates, then you should. It didn't receive any major updates, but it sure had a lot of bug fixes for most of the Samsung apps. And the device care, I did notice the battery life has been much better on Oculus updates with more than 8 hours of SOT at 1080p 120Hz when normally I get 4 to 6 hours max and I end up charging it at least 2 to 3 times a day. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this short video and see you in the next one. Peace out.